Hello everyone, I'm George Taylor from Imagine Earning, and on this episode we're going to take a look at the roller coasters of Kennywood. The Kennywood Amusement Park is located just outside of Pittsburgh in West Mifflin, Pennsylvania. It opened in 1899 and is only one of two parks that is designated a historical landmark. Kennywood is a must for fans of amusement parks because of the rich historical tapestry and the amazing wooden roller coasters. Jack Rabbit is a wooden coaster that opened in 1920 and was designed and built by John A. Miller and Harry C. Baker. The Jack Rabbit only has a height of 40 feet, but because of the terrain of Kennywood, it has a drop of 70 feet. The coaster was also built shortly after Miller patented his new track design, which almost every coaster in the world now uses. Jack Rabbit has an incredible double dip and offers a lot of airtime. Jack Rabbit is one of my favorite all time coasters. The Racer is a wooden Mobius coaster that opened in 1927 and was again built by John A. Miller. It's only one of three Mobius Loop coasters left in the world. The Mobius Loop simply means that both trains travel on the exact same track. The Racer reaches 72 and a half feet and goes 35 miles per hour. It lasts for a minute and 35 seconds. It's a fun coaster and the trains can be close enough to each other that the riders can slap hands. Thunderbolt opened in 1968 and was a renovation of the 1924 Pippin Wood Coaster built by John A. Miller. The 1968 renovation was done by Andy Vettel and expanded the middle of the ride. Thunderbolt takes wonderful advantage of the terrain, like the Jackrabbit, and offers a drop of 95 feet and a mid-track lift hill of 70 feet. It goes 55 miles per hour. It's also a coaster that requires you to have a partner. So if you don't, just wait in line and hopefully the attendant will be able to match you. The Thunderbolt is an amazing coaster and a wonderful experience. It's a lot of fun and shows how a very historic coaster can stand toe to toe with more modern wooden coasters. Lil Phantom opened in 1996 and it's a steel kiddie coaster built by Molina and Sons. The ride lasts 15 seconds and actually has a manual handbrake. Exterminator is a spinning wild mouse coaster that opened in 1999 and was built by Reversion. It's similar to Primeval Whirl at the Animal Kingdom, except it's completely in the dark. It's also pretty well themed for a roller coaster. The basic story is that you're a rat trying to escape from the Kennywood Exterminators. It reaches a maximum height of 42.7 feet and hits 29.1 miles per hour. And since it's in the dark, it's a very wild ride. Phantom's Revenge opened in 2001 and was a renovation of the 1991 Steel Phantom roller coaster built by Arrow. The 2001 renovation was done by D.H. Morgan and removed, thank goodness, the four arrow inversions and redid the restraints. And it's actually considered a terrain mega coaster and has a height of 168 feet with a drop of 228 feet. The big drop actually goes under parts of Thunderbolt. It hits 85 miles per hour and Phantom's Revenge offers a really good ride for such an older steel coaster. Morgan did an incredible job of turning a very painful aero coaster into a really great experience. But the bunny hop near the end is a killer and not in a good way. Skyrocket opened in 2010 and is a steel launch coaster by Premier Rides. It has a linear synchronous motor launch and hits 50 miles per hour. The hill is 95 feet and the ride lasts about a minute. It does have several inversions, which is actually unique now for the Kennywood coasters. It's a good ride, but unlike the other coasters at Kennywood, there's nothing really truly special about it. It is modern and fast, which will excite a lot of younger park goers. 
Overall, Kennywood has a very impressive collection of coasters. The incredibly historic wooden coasters and the Phantom's Revenge are all enjoyable by all members of the family. And I really cannot stress enough at how good Jack Rabbit and Thunderbolt are. For coasters that are nearing almost 100 years old, they are still in my top five of wooden coasters. Everyone needs to ride them, especially anybody who's designing wooden coasters today. Plus, Kennywood is beautiful and has a lot of historic amusement park rides. You definitely need to visit. I'm George Taylor from Imagine Nerding, and thank you so much for watching this video about the roller coasters of Kennywood. I'd love to know what's your favorite roller coaster at Kennywood, and have you had a chance to ride all of them? If so, leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite is. I'll see you in the next video.